what is up for our brothers and sisters man it seems like it's been a little bit but i finally had some time after coming back from some good time away with my wife and now i've been able to dissect check out the warriors then year eight season two it's up and running and i wanted to discuss the feats but before i get into the feats I just want to quickly just say the hero specific changes. I don't have any issues with Nusha. I don't have any issues with Shinobi changes, Hitokiri's change changes, Afira, you know how she removed the ability for that Astro Flip to bump players. Have no issues with Scent or Peacekeeper. I think she should have some more movement on her dodge attack. So that increased range, I think is solid. Uh, one thing about the hero specific changes I did want to talk about, and this is about feats, but I do want to discuss this, is Zerk. That spinning chop no longer being enhanced i don't i don't like that number one i don't think zerk overperforms i really don't i disagree with their stance on that um, but i also don't like that the spinning chop is no longer enhanced because you have orochis that are doing the exact same thing where they're target swapping and then they're using their enhanced lights to externally hit other people that are in range so i i don't like that i think they're actually going to give that back to him so we'll see i say him but him or her you know i think they're going to give that back to zerk but so we'll just see how it goes. But make sure you guys let them know how you feel on Reddit. You know, JC even said that he, they check Reddit. So go ahead and post on Reddit if you don't like it, because I just feel like it's going to be a problem. But I'll definitely try Zerk out and see for myself. But I don't like it, it on the uh, on the surface of it. So let's talk about these feats. So they opted to change four tier one feats. You got the key eye that now deals 80 stamina damage and that's down from 100 percent stamina damage they got the sinister shield that now sacrifices 30 health which is up from 25 and applies a shield for eight seconds which is down from 10 seconds they got the gravity pull that now deals 15 damage down from 20. the cooldown is now 90 seconds which is up from 60. and then they did take shelter so activates and that's oh, i'm sorry that's the healing health is down from 10 and is now five on superior block now all of those are hero specific and when i say hero specific with the ki i'm talking about orochi and shinobi are the only heroes that i know of that actually have that tier one feat so what i like about these feats is that they're all nerfed i'm okay with the nerfing of feats because feats shouldn't overly give you an advantage that's my opinion feats should not be overly giving you some powerful advantage and I don't think any, not that any of these did, but they did enough to really steer the fight just a little bit more in your favor. So I don't mind just taking a little bit away because these feats are still effective. And especially with the key eye, the fact that you could be getting the upper hand on a Shinobi or an Orochi and you would go from 100 to zero with stamina was extremely frustrating. So now it's up to you to know, okay, let me look above that Orochi or that Shinobi's head and see if their tier one is active. If that tier one is active, then you know that's a possibility what's gonna happen to you. I think it does bring a slightly different level of strategy, although I believe most players probably won't enact that strategy, but it's there for you, so you know. So with the Sinister Shield, that's the one where me as, let's say I'm VP, and then I see one of my, my teammates, maybe they're getting double team, and he doesn't have revenge or she doesn't have revenge, and I go ahead, pop my Sinister Shield, gives them a little bit of shield, and it gives them that shield for eight seconds and it's down from 10 seconds and that sacrifices 30 of my health i don't think you needed to sacrifice an additional five health i don't think that was necessary but i'm fine with the shield being down eight seconds the gravity pull from afira she's got strong feats in general so that going down just five damage not a big deal i think the cooldown is what i like the most going up an additional 30 seconds to 90 seconds i like that versus uh, every 60 seconds and even JC said it's because whenever a fear you probably have a fight every minute when you're talking about on the battlefield so making that 90 seconds is is good because it did feel like every time I was facing an affair they were popping that gravity pull on me so I definitely like that move so for the take shelter that is another hero specific feat now that's going to be for the VG Varangian guard now that where she heals five health on superior block and it's down from 10 health I don't, it's kind of inconsequential to me uh, I don't think that I wasn't bothered with the 10 and but the five health because of how strong Varangian guard is I'm okay with this tier one being lowered because as long as they don't do anything to Varangian guard and make her weaker I'm okay with this one the tier two feats that they change was only one and it was a big one juggernaut so juggernaut that is not hero specific there's plenty of heroes that have juggernaut you know lawbringer has it conqueror has it 
Armusha has it, and that's just the name of a couple. I like the changes to Juggernaut. That cooldown is ferocious. I actually would have been okay if they just went ahead and, and made it from 20% down to 50% and they could have left the cooldown at 90 seconds, but they made it 120 seconds now along with that damage reduction being now 20% versus 50%. It is what it is. But with that being said, and I hate that saying, and I say it a lot, I apologize to you. It's more like a filler word, isn't it? I do like that they still kept the uninterruptible stance. So the fact that you still can be uninterruptible, I'm glad they didn't take it away because they were considering that. So the fact they didn't take it away and they just did the damage reduction down from 50 to 20, I'm fine with that. And if they want to do the cooldown to 120, that's two minutes. That's okay too, because you don't really need to use it more than uh, once within a two minute span in a fight anyway. And if you get your tier two early enough, you'll still be able to pop that, you think about four or five times in a match. That's that's good enough in my opinion. When we're talking about the tier threes, Speeding Comet now deals 20 damage down from 30. The cooldown is now 120 up from 90. Now Speeding Comet, that's a Fira's hero specific feat. No issues with this because it is a very, very powerful feat since it does guarantee a, Fira, a Fira's heavy finisher. So anytime you can do a move or pop a feat and that's going to guarantee an, a, an attack on top of that, you know, maybe you do need to look at the initial damage from the feat itself. And that's exactly what they did. They just took it down 10 damage and they made the cooldown. They increased it 30 seconds. There's no issues with that. I think that's good. And most people, I, I believe, shouldn't have issues with that. Now, Pugio, which we know is a big scent used by scent, now deals 15 damage. So that's 15 down from 25. And that's okay because that's another one that guarantees additional damage you know if you're close enough and you don't throw it out too far or maybe you throw it at somebody expecting a teammate to engage and they don't in more cases than not you'll be able to use Pugio and if you're successful you'll be able to get a heavy off of that and continue attacking taking it down from 25 to 15 that's not that big of a deal this is what feats are for you still get some damage and then you still get a chance for additional damage potentially Fury is now, the damage buff is down from 20. It went to, well, down to 20. It was 35. And the damage reduction buff is now 20, from down from 35. Fury, I don't know why they had to take it down to 20. What? I think 25%, and I know people would stack, they would pop Fury, and then they would do Fire Flask on top of that. I understand that. And that's probably why they took Fire Flask down as well, is because they know that people would try to chain them together but I'm okay with 25%. You could have took it down 25%, but we're gonna see how it does at 20. You know, they feel like Fury was overperforming in a lot of situations. So we're, we're gonna see how it is. I don't have any quarrels about this every any which way. You know, as I like to say, any which way, I have no quarrels about it. I'm fine with Fury. Does it hurt Zerk? I think it, it hurts him a little bit, for sure, when it comes to the feet department. But as far as his kid, I mean, I just don't like what they did to his spinning chop. But I already mentioned what I said about that. But no issues with Fury. Now, Invigorate, that's going to be Shaolin's Tier 3. It now heals 4 HP down from 8 HP. But because it's so accessible, I don't think that's a big deal. That's okay. Oathbreaker no longer prevents Target from gaining shields. So with Oathbreaker, it is a strong feat. It's definitely a strong feat because what BPs will do is even when you have revenge and you don't pop it and you're in an outnumbered situation, let's say it's 3v1 on you, then they wait they just sit there and wait and then when they, they see your health getting low enough they go ahead and pop that tier three so that way when you do hit revenge you don't get anything anyway so i like the fact that you can actually pop revenge and apparently there's like a window in which the effects are going to actually be solid or actually work when they pop that tier three i'm okay with that no problem whatsoever i always thought that oathbreaker should be a reactive feat anyway i wonder what you BP mains think about it, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Now those tier four changes was Fire Flask now deals a maximum of 30 damage down from 50. Spear Storm now deals 30 damage per wave, per wave down from 70. And it's what, three waves of that? So maximum 90 damage you can get. So it's 30 damage per wave and it's down from 70. That was ferocious. That's a big nerf in my opinion. That's a big nerf. Fear itself now decreases defensive opponents by 40% down from 50 percent i don't think that's that's a big deal and i don't think it's gonna it's gonna hurt because it does help in a team fight to pop that anytime you're around your teammates and it's gonna help you guys out tremendously spear storm that's a solid because sometimes you gotta you can dodge out of the way of the the extra attacks if you know which way it's coming so i don't think that's a very debilitating change as far as spear storm is concerned and fire flash i already kind of talked about how that worked in hand with fury and even if you don't, it was powerful enough 
and you still can get multiple damage if you just decide to hang out in the fire. So you're still going to get that 30 damage and then you're going to get some additional damage if you don't get out of dodge. But at least this gives you a chance where you can take 30 damage. And then if you decide to not get out, maybe you go up to 50 damage. But if you do get out, you're not just ruined in the fight. But it still can change the tide a little bit. So I still feel like Fire Flask is powerful enough. So, but those are the feat changes they introduce. I'm on, I'm on board with most of them. You guys heard what my thoughts are on some of those, but I think they could have went one way or the other. And in some cases, they should have just kept it the same. But we're here now, right? We're here now. So embrace these changes, y'all. And if, don't forget, if you, if there's a bug, report on the bug reporter. If you have any issues, make sure you let it be known on Reddit because they are monitoring Reddit. It seems like more than anything. So I appreciate you guys listening to this, checking this out, watching whatever you're doing. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. You guys can be tuned in to so many different videos. You stop by here today. Always love for y'all for that. Until next time. Peace.